Good afternoon, MCC. Thank you for joining me this Tuesday lunchtime. It's great to be with you all. And as we continue our 21 days of prayer, it continues to look very different from last year, but I hope these times are times of great blessing and encouragement to you all. They certainly are for me. So today I will be reading out June Fulton's reflection and hopefully this will be a helpful platform to guide you into your hour of prayer, wherever you find yourself right now. Okay, I'm just going to begin. June wanted to bring you a Bible character today, but not one of the well-known heroes, rather someone quite obscure, but who had a lot of influence. She thought about it a lot and looked up several passages. Then one day, a name came strongly to her mind, the name of a man whom she had long admired greatly. On looking up Bezalel from Exodus chapter 20, uh, 35, June noticed that most times his name was mentioned. There was also mention of a co-worker whom she had not noticed at all, and his name was Oholiab. Both of these men were especially chosen by God for the extremely important work of constructing the tabernacle and also making the special garments for the priests. God had given them the necessary skills of design, construction, and leading the task force. They carried out the work, following in detail the plan God had given to Moses. It's described at length in Exodus chapter 35 to 40. Pastor Dave even had pictures, pictures of it on the last Sunday that we met together at MCC. When the work was completed and the tabernacle was all set up, God's glory filled the tabernacle. And the good work of Aholiab and Bezalel lasted for several hundred years, right up to the reign of King Solomon. Aholiab's name is in God's holy book, whether we notice it or not. God thought him important enough to recognise the part he played in his plan. Sometimes we think we are unimportant and in the background, but in God's eyes, we are each his special people. Our names are written on the palm of his hand. He knows about us and he loves us. He even gave his life for us. So let us rest in these truths and open our hearts and minds to incredible truth that God does love us. Each one of us has skills that God has given us of all different kinds. So let us use them to the best of our ability with his help and for his ultimate glory. Help us not to take for granted the many people in our church, often in the background, to whom God has given tasks for our benefit. Help us to respect each other for our individual gifts as the body of Christ. Okay, so as we launch into our hour of prayer, June would love us to remember some points for prayer that we can uh, focus on during this hour. She would love us to give thanks that Barry and Susanna have returned safely to the UK. So we continue to pray for them. And she would like us to also remember the Benstead family who find themselves in isolation, but not in their own home. And they must be finding that very difficult. We need to remember those struggling with isolation in our church, especially those living by themselves. And we need to pray for the recovery of those we know and love who have caught the virus and that more lives will be spared and give thanks that a lot of us, most of us, have not been affected by it so far. And as we think about people that work behind the scenes, June would love us to remember our own premises team at MCC for their safety as they work and for good solutions to the many problems and situations that face them so that nothing in their work will hinder God's glory being evident in our church. And I also just want to add as well, we need to be remembering uh, so many people that are working behind the scenes at the moment uh, people that are constructing these Nightingale hospitals, people that are uh, doing the work that we don't see on the TV. 
So may God bless you all now as you spend time before the throne of grace interceding for others. And I pray that you just continue pressing on in prayer through these 21 days. Okay, God bless. Thanks for watching.